Hello everybody, welcome to March Remarks. Today I'm going to be making a sandwich with uh, Warburton's soft white bread. There we are. Now, that's going to be the bread. The, the ingredients is going to be a Pollock fish cake. Tasty Pollock and potato mash coated in a crispy crumb. Right, I'm gonna, I bought these on special by the way. Yeah, they're 180 down to 88p for, the, uh, for a four pack. I'm going to be using this. Also, I'm trying to empty out the freezer. <laughs> so, um, these are left over from a while back. I don't know when I got these, but uh, 12 gingerbread and apricot stuffing balls. Here we go. So, I'm going to be using one of these in each sandwich. £3.30 these cost for 12 of them. I've gone for 83 pence. Anyway, so, one of those, and I think... For good measure, I'm going to put in a, a piece of bacon. Now, let's uh, pan down. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to put the potato thing in there for about five minutes. Then I'm going to put these in, we'll put a, 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 a stuffing ball in there. And then cook that for about four, sort of ten, and then I'll put the bacon in, the last. Hopefully they'll then they'll all finish at the same time. Yeah, that's the trouble when you're cooking three different things. Each one takes a different amount of time. It's uh, it's all about juggling. Okay. Um, while that's doing, I'll do a, another another plug for the uh, PO box. The usual thing with the stamps to go to the dogs dog charity. Uh, post office address. If you want to send any postcards. Uh, made out of um, scrap packaging, send them in, you'll get a mention. If you want to send any uh, seeds, I'll grow them on the windowsill, I'll feed them to the chickens, make a video of it, you'll get a shout out for that. Anything else, um, if you want to, you know, if anybody's got a birthday coming up, send a card in, you'll get a shout out. And the important thing is, if you can make it a, a picture stamp for the dog charity. Alright, that's that, thank you. And, um, all right, in about five minutes, then we'll go for the stuffing ball. Fish cake's been in there about five minutes. Now the stuffing ball. I'm going to put this in for about ten minutes. And then, when that's done, then put the bacon in. And then uh, wait for the whole lot to finish together. And the last ingredient is, in fact, that... Uh, Stuffing ball looks almost cooked. But now I'm going to put in two slices of bacon for each sandwich. I'm going to make one sandwich at a time. It's too much to cook all at once. Right, two, two bits of bacon. Put that in for another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes until well and truly cooked. There we are. And then uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Put, out, put that in for about, I'll put that in for 15 and then uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Don't need to uh, overcook. Everything's cooked, ready to assemble. Now, I picked this up. This is going on uh, approximately 50p down at the co-op. They're having a big sale on a lot of sauces. So I picked this up. Let's see, put some of that in there. I've actually used this before and it's quite nice, as far as I remember. Um, Hellman's Honey Barbecue Sauce. There we go. Yeah, normally it's a couple of quid. Um, there we go. Where's the bottom? Right. Bacon, one bit of bacon. Then we'll put the haddock fish cake. Then I think um, I think I'll cut this in half. Actually, the uh, the the stuffing. The, say, uh, the stuffing, whatever it was, ginger. There we go. I was flattening it like that. And then we got the last bit of bacon. Then put the top on there. And flatten it down. There we are. Finished product. Yeah, it, it actually fits uh, just about right. The same, the right size for the roll. Mm. 
There's plenty of barbecue sauces really good. I'm getting the, um, yeah. I'm trying to think what this is. The crunchy on the fish cake reminds me of the uh, crunch on the fish fingers. Some brands of fish fingers. Mm. Very crunchy. Of course, fish cakes are mostly potato anywhere. But. Very nice. Could do with a little bit more of that sauce, I think. Because the fish cake is quite big, the fish cake. So that takes up a lot of the, uh, that's the initial flavour and the, and the, uh, the hit of flavour. Quite nice. It's a good way of getting away, getting little things out of your freezer. Pack of fish cakes, a couple of bits of bacon, some um, ginger stuffing. Mm. Well, good combination. The fish cake would be in the potato. The potato goes with everything. The bacon, the stuffing. Yeah, what a nice sandwich. Just use what you can find in the freezer. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all there is. Address. You know all the rest. The seeds, uh, postcards, everything else. Hmm. I'm going to eat this. Make another one. Hmm. Starting to get through to the bacon now. Oh. Anyway, just an idea for what you can do with a few leftover bits in the freezer. Thank you for watching.